I think we're recording. We are recording. And you know what that means. It's time for another episode of Brickmania TV. Brick Maniacs, welcome back. We have, uh, first off, we have a contest going on, just a reminder. That is right. The race to 20,000 subscribers. 20,000 subscribers, giving away the PT-109. PT but yeah. first, we got 15,000 subscribers. We give away the LCVP. So, the sooner we get to 15,000 subscribers, the sooner that one of you guys could win one of those. 25,000, maybe? Maybe. <laughs> we'll see, we'll see, we'll see. All right, Dan, it is Desert Storm. Uh, Desert Storm Bricks. Desert Storm right. Bricks. Hashtag Desert Storm Bricks. Yes, and we have a kit to go with that. Right, this is the Cadillac Gauge V150. Cadillac Gauge. Cadillac, that's the company that makes it. That's cool. This is uh, Saudi Arabian National Guard, yep. and if you know anything about anything at all about Desert Storm, you will know that there was a battle called the Battle of El Kafji. Yep. And it was where Saddam Hussein said, let's try to provoke the start of this war. Sure. See, camera guys are shrugging. They're, you're learning something. <laughs> so the, the Saddam would say, let's start the war. Let's go invade Saudi Arabia. And they, he sent a couple armored columns into Saudi Arabia yeah. to take the border town of Al-Kafji. Mm -hmm. And, of course, the emir or sultan or whatever they have in Saudi Arabia, the king, said, you can't invade our soil. So they, they basically did a retaliatory uh, attack against um, the invading Iraqis, right. U.S. forces, pretty much U.S. Marines and uh, Saudi Arabian National Guard and the Qatari armored armored uh, troops that had tanks and stuff. So we we decided we're going to make this uh, a V100, right. V150. Actually, this is an armored vehicle. This was actually at Elf yep. one of the vehicles that were there. We we made it previously for some uh, group builds that we'd done, mm -hmm. but we just did the command version, which had an open top. Sure. Want to do something different for the kit. So we did this uh, version with a 90 millimeter gun. It's right. a turret. It's not a. It's not on every one uh, V150, but uh, put it on this 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 model just because it's cool. Looking. Yeah, yeah. So how would this particular version function in the battlefield? Well, so let's say you have your your. This is an armored car. Yep. So it's the, different from a Humvee that this is actually an armored vehicle, right. really heavy duty, um, super souped up engine. It's this thing can really fly down the highway. Yeah. Um, so basically, your armored. Your armored infantry will ride, um, this this case was the, the Saudi Arabian National Guard, yep. ride up to wherever their objective. This particular version is a, uh, it's a, it's like infantry support vehicle. So mm -hmm. you have this 90 millimeter gun. So let's say you're you're getting like hot fire from a, a, a gun emplacement that's, that's yep. shooting at your guys, and all you have is machine guns on your armored vehicle. So you bring up the, the armored, the, the support vehicle, which is this one, take out that pillbox or machine gun nest or um, say a BMP or any sort of like light skinned, uh, or, you know, media or light, light armored vehicle sure. that your, your opponent has. Um, these are basically like scouting vehicles. Okay. This would be the, the fire support version of it. Cool, cool. All right, on to the kit itself. Um, you said you've built this for a few group builds in the past. Right, we did a group build yep. uh, at World War Brick, um, and we've, we've, we had it for a couple of years, and, and these are just kicking around, and mm -hmm. people have been like, hey, when are you going to release these? And finally we got around to it. <laughs> yes. So some cool things about this, This all the all the vehicles yeah. that have this, you have two you know, opening hatches on either side. Both sides. Um, so and that's actually how they would open in real life. Right, right. The, angle door, to it. the doors have they split top and top and bottom. Yep. Um, you have the the commander has his opening hatch in here. Close Pretty much top. the. Yep. I like this uh, angled. Uh, is that a, a light of some sort? Spotlight. Yeah. Infrared. There's a spotlight on it. It's it's kind of offset to the left. Yeah, it's cool. Um, I don't know if it, it's, it probably does have infrared settings. I don't I don't know that much about that particular sure. light, but I'm guessing. Um, you have your smoke grenade dischargers. Yeah, and, that back's really cool. I like that sort of top view. Um, is this like a luggage storage kind yeah, of thing? Yeah, yeah, there's there's a basket on the back. Yeah, that's cool. The turret. So nice makes the turret there. look nice nice and long. And, uh, so this is, it's like a turbocharged engine. This thing can really quick <laughs> down the highway. Just do a wheelie down the highway. Yeah, of course. So what do we have here, Lando? So this, this is, is the Saudi Arabian National Guard. They have a pretty uh, simple uniform um, based off of British camouflage, um, kind of of that era. And then the helmet is a camouflage netting that they just attached their helmet. Right, they had like a, a look like an M1 sort of steel pod helmet yeah. um, that they put camouflage and editing yeah. over. Um, real, real simple but effective. Yeah, the uniform itself was simple it, from the images, the source images that I went off of. It didn't appear that they had a whole bunch of gear all over it. It was really just the jacket and the trousers. So. Right. 
but for there's the most but there's lots of lots of pictures. This was like basically before the the, the war started in yeah. earnest. This was going on, and so lots of lots of coverage in the media of this this battle. Yeah. You see a lot of these pictures. pictures yeah, and their their uniforms are all over the place, and it's it's kind of cool. The you know this is the simplest guy that I came up with. So. So that's cool. We did make we made some extras too. So I'm not sure. Yeah, I we? think we did. I think we made. So we got again printing on the back of the arm, uh, front of the arms as well. So uh, if you buy the kit, you get one. If you want to get some extras to have your National Guard force, yeah, uh, we did make some extras. I'm not sure how many, but the, for a very limited time, yeah, you'll be able to get some. And that helmet's kind of cool. It's uh, printing all over the place. So. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's we're simulating the, the uh, camouflage netting as yeah, best we can. So. Best we can. Cool. So yeah, I'm, I'm happy with how this guy turned out, um, and I think it complements the kit very nicely. Yes, this this <laughs> this is coming out the same week as that Humvee, the M1025. Yep. Um, they both complement each other well, um, both pretty moderately priced. Right on. And uh, we'll have them, hopefully, for a little while. We made we made a, a double batch of each. And, nice. Um, just hopefully they won't sell out the first day they come up. But if they do, better uh, get on there. They'll be out uh, on Monday. Get yours while you can. Cool. Anything else, Dan? Nah. 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 We'll All save right. it for next episode. <laughs> that is the episode of Brick Mania TV. Oh, wait! Wait, wait, wait. wait, wait, wait. We have a micro tank. Wait. Are we going to do another episode for that? No, let's just, oh, let's okay, just wrap okay. it up. So, okay, so the micro tank game, um, you. I'm sure you're all playing it because everybody's bought a book. It's it's been really successful. Um, we have just released our first. This is our first Italian anything we've ever done. Whoa. Really, except for yeah, decals. I don't count. I don't count. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so basically, we have a Caro model, armored car uh, P P40. So this is the Italian um, medium tank. And if you're playing the micro brick battle and you want a little bit of a uh, something something a little different uh, to, to play for your Axis forces. This would be appropriate for Germans or Italians uh, camp campaigns, um, you know, World War II. So first ever uh, Italian awesome. tank. Of course, it's a micro tank. Well, maybe we'll have the real thing, the full version, come out at some time in the future. Yeah. You know. Can't tell you. Yeah. It's secret. Yeah. If you want the real one to come out, make sure you comment because we listen to you guys' comments. Especially if you're liked and subscribed to our channel. <laughs> yeah, y y your comment holds more weight. <laughs> <laughs> yes, cool. All right, limited time. Get get the Caro o, Caro Amato Armato Caro Armato P40 uh, micro tank. Uh, limited time for the micro brick battle game. Absolutely. All right, that is now the episode of Brickmania TV. For more information on this kit and others like it, uh, check out Brickmania.com. Yeah, Thank you for watching. And don't forget to subscribe to our emails. Subscribe to the emails. Email list? We have an email list. Did you know that? I didn't even know. And that. if you subscribe to the email list, you're probably going to get coupons that nobody else will know about. What? Yeah. You're not supposed to tell them that. Shh. <laughs> All right. All right, we're done. Done. Don't <laughs> get them off.